INEC denies creating 30,000 new polling units. Governor fingered in plot against Oshi Bajo. Ex INEC chairman gets new appointment. Federal government to secure World Bank loan to fight malaria. And in sports, Mufara in a disappointing run at London Marathon. These and more stories in a moment. I am Anthony Momodu with the news on the hour on Television Nigerian. Following allegations of impropriety by the National Publicity Secretary of the People's Democratic Party, the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has denied creating 30,000 additional polling units in some remote areas to compromise the 2019 general elections. The Chief Press Secretary to INEC Chairman Rotimi Oyekomi, in a statement on Sunday, urged Nigerians to disregard the allegation explaining that the Commission received over 3,000 requests nationwide for the creation of new polling units. He stated that the Commission directed its resident electoral commissioners to thoroughly assess and provide it with information on the new settlements not served or inadequately served by existing polling units in response to these specific requests. He added that the commissioners were also to provide information on areas with natural barriers that hinder access to existing polling units, as well as areas that were distant from existing polling units. A state governor has been identified for involvement in an alleged plot to implicate Vice President Yemi Oshimbajo on the operation of the National Emergency Management Agency, NEMA. Also uncovered by the presidency is an alleged plot by some people to instigate internally displaced persons, IDPs, to stage a phony protest to the National Assembly against the NEMA board. The House of Representatives Committee on Emergency and Disaster Preparedness is currently investigating the activities of NEMA since 2017, probing the disbursement of intervention funds running into billions of naira for specific relief projects for the internally displaced persons. The committee is allegedly having issues with the Oshibajo-led NEMA board over the suspension of six directors of NEMA who were allegedly indicted for fraud and recommended for suspension by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission. Former chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, Atahiru Jega, has been appointed by the Kanu state government to head the committee mandated to nurture the Metama Sule Center for Politics and Democratic Governance. The committee has the mandate to analyze the function and long-term programs of the center and provide appropriate framework, among others, within eight weeks. Governor Ganduje, who inaugurated the committee in Kanu, said the center was to immortalize the late elder statesman for his immense contributions to political and democratic development in the country. Still ahead, federal government to secure World Bank loan to fight malaria, plus more on sports and the foreign scene. Stay tuned. For almost a decade, the Nigerian army have given their all to ensure that our dear country is not overrun by Boko Haram insurgents. Some have in the process paid the ultimate price, while many will forever live with indelible scars occasioned by their determination to protect the country, no matter the hurdle. Despite these, they have remained resolute and undaunted, and today, all territories the insurgents one took control of have been recaptured and normalcy restored. And now for the first time in a long time, the end of Boko Haram is foreseeable. Therefore, the wisest thing for the remaining insurgents to do is to surrender today or face total destruction from the army. Remember, the Nigerian army will stop at nothing to ensure that total peace is restored in all parts of the country. So, be wise and embrace peace today or get ready to be ruthlessly dealt with. This message is brought to you by the Coalition on Conflict Resolution and Human Rights in Nigeria. Thanks for staying tuned. 
In its bid to eliminate malaria in the country, the federal government is set to secure a $300 million loan from the World Bank, Islamic Development Bank, and the African Development Bank. This is contained in a statement issued by the African Leaders Malaria Alliance on the Commonwealth Heads of Government Meeting 2018, just ended in London. The government said in a statement that it will elevate malaria on the national priority list, finance the national malaria elimination strategy, while pledging an additional $18.7 million to leverage $37 million from the Global Fund to distribute 15 million mosquito nets and to support the local manufacture of essential malaria commodities. The Game Changing Committee followed the Malaria Summit where leaders from malaria-affected countries, businesses, donors and Commonwealth leaders pledged to reduce the scourge of malaria by half across the Commonwealth nations within the next five years. On the foreign scene, a suicide attack at a voter registration center in the Afghan capital Kabul has killed at least 31 people, with more than 50 others injured in the blast, which hit a crowd waiting at the entrance to the building. The Islamic State group IS, through its AMAC news agency, has claimed responsibility for the attack, which occurred in the Dashi Baji area of western Kabul while eyewitnesses stated that many of the victims were women with children who were there to get their identity cards and register for the legislative elections which are due to take place in October. Reports have it that at least four attacks have occurred on such centers since voter registration got underway a week ago. Welcome to Living Treasures Academy. Enjoy a conducive and serene learning environment. Qualified and experienced teachers. Equipped computer laboratory and library. Secured atmosphere. Extracurricular activities. An all embracing curriculum for total development of the child comprehensive education for leadership. Join us today from crash to secondary levels. Leaving Treasures Academy committed to excellence. In sports, Britain's Mo Farah finished third at the London Marathon in a new British record as Kenyan elude Kip Kogge won the race for the third time. Farah kept pace with the leaders for much of the race but finished two minutes, five seconds behind Kip Kogge. He crossed the line in two hours, six minutes and 32 seconds to beat Steve Jones, 33-year-old British record. The four-time Olympic champion was competing in his first 26.2 miles race since retiring from the track. Kep Goge, regarded as one of the greatest marathon runners of all time, was on course for a new world record but slowed in the final stages of the grueling race in warm temperatures to finish in 2 hours, 4 minutes and 27 seconds, with barely 90 seconds outside the record held by his compatriot, Dennis Kimoto. To end the news, a recap of the major stories. INEC denies creating 30,000 new polling units. Governor fingered in plot against Oshiba Jo. Ex INEC chairman gets new appointment. Federal government to secure World Bank loan to fight malaria. And in sports, Mufara in a disappointing run at London Marathon. That's the news on the hour on Television Nigerian. And do remember, happiness is not the absence of problems, it's the ability to deal with them. Thanks for watching. I am Anthony Momodou.